Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. A new craft day reached out to me, asked if I would like to show some of their diamond paintings on my channel. So let's see what I got. Now what I started doing, I wrote on the packages which company I received each one from so that when I get one completed I know which company it came from because all the other ones I never wrote on each particular diamond painting so yeah I really have no idea which company they came from so we have a number of them here we have five of them here so let's take a look at the first one. Oh, I love it. I love it. Look at those pretty colors. Try to hold it up because of the glare. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. It is a 30 by 30 and there are 20 colors in that. I just, I love purples and teals together, so, oh, I just thought this was gorgeous. It is a partial, so the background is painted on. I'll only be doing the swirl, or I guess it's kind of a mandala-ish type picture. So we do have the number and the symbol of um, the colors. There are, there is no DMC codes on here though unfortunately so let's take a look at the symbols we'll see how clear they are okay now where the black symbols are or letters numbers very easily I mean very nice and clear where the white is, however, and that's usually, you know, if you're going to have a problem, it's usually in the darker areas where you um, have the white letters, numbers, or symbols. They get a little bit harder to see sometimes, and yeah, I can see they're a little bit harder to see, but I don't think, especially with the light pad, I don't think there's going to be a problem, but yeah, they are, they are a tad blurry in here, aren't they? very nice and sticky like I said the the ones that are up in here you know with where it's lighter those typically are pretty easy to see and they're not they're very nice and clear that's why I always like to look at the darker areas because if there's going to be a problem typically mm -hmm. it is in that area but like I said with a light pad I don't think that's going to be a problem Oh, that is so pretty, though. So, you see uh, it does have clear, whoops, let's zoom back out, uh, clear covering, so that does indicate poured glue. If you have the opaque covering over the top, so it's a white covering, then you know it's double-sided adhesive. So typically when you have poured glue, there's no, I, I should double check though, just to be on the safe side, but typically you don't have a problem, even though that these come, you know, folded up. When they're poured glue, you, you don't normally have a problem. I have never run into a problem and I don't see one at all on this one either. So that's good. I always love it when they send kits with poured glue rather than the double-sided adhesive. And you get your standard toolkit, square of wax, standard diamond painting pen, standard green boat, and we do have a couple of baggies in here. And then we have the drills. Let's look at the pretties. I can't wait to see you know, if, if they're, they are going to be on the more blue side or if they are going to be on the teal side. <clears throat> oh, frog in my throat. Oh no, I see some teal. Yay. All right. 
So, oh, look at that pretty pale pink. Let me zoom in just a tad. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Looks to be a black. No, I'm assuming, yeah, there's no, no DMC codes on here at all. We have some gray. Maybe dark blue. A tan. Kind of a dark orange or brownish orange. We have a peach here with some escapees from the next pack. Oh, not practicing social distancing. There's four of them in there. Boy, oh boy. They really did make a break for it. But look at these tails. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Four of them in a gradient, uh, a gradient of colors. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm going to put this one on the side mm -hmm. for when I want to do just a, a snack size, a little one. So we have a dark blue here. That looks to be, boy, it's really hard to tell if that's a real, it looks to be like a real deep, deep purple, but it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe it's a dark brown. Under these lights, it's kind of hard to see. Here's a real dark blue. Kind of like a 939. There's a pretty blue violet, sort of. Oh, now we come to the purples. Oh, love this color. Have some mauves. So we have a darker mauve and a lighter mauve. And then we have a peach color. Oh my gosh, that is going to be gorgeous. So the canvas. Um, is actually real true to color. Sometimes, you know, they're they're not always painted on there, you know, when, when they create the canvas real accurately. Most of them are pretty good, but... So, yeah, that, that one was really, really good representation of what the actual colors are going to be. So, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to put this one on the side, because, yeah that one out and I do have pictures printed out to put on the canvases I like to do that if you haven't seen my unbabies um, within the past year or so I started doing that so I know what's in each baby So, we have this one. And yes, putting that one on the side. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, can you say they're pretty vibrant colors? <laughs> this one comes in a separate baggie just because they like to make things difficult for me. Sometimes you'll get them in this, sometimes not. More often than not, you, they don't come in this. And when I put them back away, I don't put them back in here. Number one, it's impossible. Number two, it's not needed because I just put them back in this. Anyhow, so it won't toss that. But yes, rainbow of colors. Look at that color key. Ah, the pretty. It's another 30 by 30. I've, yeah, really been stuck on the 30 by 30s for, uh, to put in the scrapbook. I haven't gotten around to completing any, though. <laughs> so we get another standard toolkit. Isn't that pretty, though? Oh, love it, love it. Every color in the rainbow. Ah, except I don't see purple. What the heck? <laughs> uh, oh, my. That is gorgeous. Again, let's take a look at the symbols. Especially because the first one, there were a, was a little bit of a problem with the dark. Because again, where you have the black lettering, it looks just fine. That's, you know, very easily red. But... Again, in the darker areas, 
Now like here with this dark blue right here, that's got a black letter in there. And you know, I can, I can see it, especially with, like I said, a light pad. You can see the U and the W and the P, um, the K in white, a little bit harder to read, but yeah, again, with a light pad, there's not gonna be a problem doing this one at all. Oh, gorgeous, I love it, I love it. You know I love my bright colors, right? Yeah. Oh no, don't ever do this. <laughs> if you're newer to diamond painting and you get these with the clear covering, meaning it is poured glue, like I said, these plastic coverings are meant to go on your diamond painting one way and one way only. This top part is not nonstick. I know that was a double negative. <laughs> it is only this side that can go on your diamond painting. If you accidentally, I mean, and, and it's impossible to tell what's what, right? Um, you get this side on your diamond painting, it can come off, but it's very, very difficult. <laughs> so if you are one that likes to use your plastic sheets over, especially these smaller ones can, you know, sometimes come in handy. I would suggest maybe putting a piece of tape or something on the top side so that you know this bottom side can go on the, on the canvas. So just a word of warning. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these colors. Ah! <laughs> ah! Yes! I will leave a link in the description to this company's website and I will link all five of these diamond paintings if you are interested in these particular ones, they have a ton of diamond paintings to pick from. So, let's take a look. And they have a couple deals going on too right now, so I will tell you about those at the end. And this pretty lime green, brown. Oh, look at that pretty deep green. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I love this pink. Again, there are no DMC codes on here. Beautiful orange red. Ooh, look at the greens. There are 18 colors in here. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at this pink. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. Do you have another brown? That must go in the background. Oh my gosh. Look at these blues. Isn't that pretty? Because the whole inside of the mandala is all in blues. Wow, these packs are full. Wow, we have a red and an orange and then this beautiful bright yellow. Oh God, I love this color. It's like a cerulean blue, aqua and a deep yellow kind of color. So oh, yeah, no purples. What? What's up with that? <laughs> Why did I pick this? Because we like all color. We do. Whether you're a diamond painter or a colorist, we like all colors, don't we? All right, so there is the second one. Oh, two out of two, we love them. And again, oh, I just, I didn't put the drills back, did I? I'm just popping them back in there. Like that. Otherwise, I would be afraid I'd lose them out of this sleeve. <laughs> I looked over there, I'm like, where'd that come from? Oh my yeah, it's for the drills. <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, let's tape on here this one. And on to the next. 
I have also started, as you can tell, cutting open each one off camera beforehand, so I don't have to do that on camera either. Oh yeah, this one. Another 30 by 30, nice, bright, colorful one. It's kind of an abstract flower. Isn't that pretty? There are 17 colors, very large key code here. Can't miss that. I love it when they just have numbers and letters, one through nine, no, one through eight. You know, number one is one, number two is two, etc. That is so nice. And then nine through 17 are letters. So again, let's, let's take a look at these symbols this time. See, now this one I don't have a problem with at all. If you see up here where we have the white letters, numbers, the numbers on the darker background, those are clear as a bell. And of course the black on the lighter areas, very nice and clear. So yes, this one is really nice and clear where we have all these white numbers, crystal clear. So yeah, there's definitely not a problem at all with this one. Again, it is a partial, but this one you do most of it. The only thing that is not drilled on this particular canvas is just the very black outside of it. But I think with having that black background, isn't that going to make the colors really pop? Ooh. Okay, let's take a look. We get another standard. Took it. We're all used to seeing those, and so. I know it's not feasible, but wouldn't it be nice if the default was to not have a toolkit? And if you needed a toolkit, you could just add it on to your order. Like I said, I know that's not feasible because these, you know, these Chinese companies are just doing, you know, probably hundreds of thousands of diamond kits throughout the day and it's just you know you just automatically throw a toolkit in with every single one but for those of us that open so many it's just you know it just seems like such a waste i don't throw them out i do have <laughs> boy i don't know how many upstairs but and i do have them all organized i have all the green boats stacked in one bag and all the wax in another the pens are in another yeah it's a thing so here we have some black, some pretty blues. Let's zoom back in. Oh my gosh, look at that is a 550. I know that one. <laughs> Don't need DMC code to tell me that. We have some kind of mauve purples. Oh, and look at this. Oh my gosh. Lots of beautiful purples in here. And, oh, wait till you see the pinks coming up. And we have some red. Look at these three pinks. Love this magenta color. And then we have kind of like a carnation pink. And then a lighter pink. Oh, my gosh. That is going to be gorgeous. Love those three together. And then we come to some oranges and yellows. And to round it all out, we have some light blue. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah. Now this one definitely has a rainbow of colors. Which color isn't in here now? Green. We don't have green. Let's see what other color did we have? We don't have gray. Which is okay. I'm not a gray person. <laughs> Pretty much everything else we had, didn't we? So yeah, that's that is pretty too. So pretty. It's so hard going on these sites when they have thousands and thousands of diamond paintings. 
and you pick out, you know, a certain number or you stay below a, a certain dollar amount or something like that. To try to pick out some, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I want that one and that one and that one and that one. So it gets down to kind of eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Alright, so we have this one. I am loving all of these, all oh, the color of those drills. Phew. Oh, we never really checked the quality of the drills, so let's check that out on this one. Oh my gosh, confetti heaven. Woohoo, if you like confetti, boy. This is one for you, another 30 by 30. 20 colors in here, but oh, let me zoom you in on this one. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, confetti just means you have a whole bunch of different colors within a small area, so you're switching out colors a lot. So, yeah, but oh my gosh. Usually when you do have confetti, heavy areas, the detail, when you look at it from back, you know, from a good six feet in, and farther, which is where diamond paintings are meant to be looked at, you know, from farther away, not close up like this. When you have confetti heavy areas, yeah, the detail is just incredible. So I thought I would give this one a try. Normally when I pick them out, if I pick out something smaller like this, um, I typically do not go for anything too detailed. Um, when they're snack size like this, you don't want anything with too much detail or it's going to be real pixelated and you're not going to be satisfied with it. However, I thought I would give this one a try. It's so pretty. Um, you know, kind of a floral type of theme in here. And it is a, a full drill. These are all uh, round drills. Um, I did state if they were partials. This is a full drill. But I thought those colors were so pretty. So we'll see. We'll see how, it, you know, if this turns out too pixelated or not. So let's look at the, well, let's look at the, I won't zoom you back in for the, oh, this one's very nice and clear. Both in the dark areas with the white letters and with the black letters yes very very clear so it was kind of only those first two that were a little mm. standard took it oh my gosh this one is pre-baked you can tell these diamond painting companies have different suppliers that they go with so not every diamond painting is going to be set up the exact same way this one just all kitted up for you. Boy, that's nice when they do that. No cutting open of little baggies. All right, let's take a look at these. Oh, and these are nice, nice big bags. So we have the number on here that corresponds with the number on the diamond painting itself. And it does have the code if you're again not real familiar with diamond painting there's always a code um of the diamond painting on the canvas and then that same code will be on the drills there are some people that like to keep their canvases flattened once they flatten them out now these type of canvases i iron um in a different video i did show the iron and how i kind you know explain kind of how i do it um, but then once they have them flattened, they like to just leave them flattened and store them separate from the drills. So you can always tell your set of drills goes with what diamond painting by these codes. And then you'll usually, when they're pre-baked like this, you'll get a gram amount um, that is in these baggies. So here we have a kind of a beige color. We do have some black, and guess what, folks? There are DMC codes. Oh, my. The D I didn't even notice this. We have the number, the symbol, and we do have a DMC code on here. This is a nice kit. Wow. 
because I'm like, wait a minute, there are DMC coats on the bags. And I look, I'm like, oh, there's DMC coats on the canvas. Yeah. So here's three tens, black. Here we have three, three, three. Oh, beautiful dark green. I won't read the DMC code numbers. I don't imagine you particularly care. Oh, look at these. Those go together so nice. So colors in the flowers along with this pink. Isn't that going to be pretty? Oh, just awesome. We have some gray. Of course, we got to have some green. Some more gray. Oh, look at this pretty blue. Look at both of these. Ooh, pretty. We have a dark, dark olive green. Some brown. Ooh, pretty aqua. Another gray, beautiful light blue. It's a deep maroon. That must go in the center of the flowers. I don't know what you'd call that, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> kind of a brick red. And then finally, a sage green. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty colors again. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, if this is too pixelated once it's done. I think because it's almost like an... Well, I don't want to say it's an abstract flower like that other one was. This is a little more of a realistic looking flower. But... I think it may be okay. Let's see if I can get this all uh, <laughs> back in this baggie. Kind of smooth them out. I don't know how they get them in so nice. Must be because they uh, do it all day long. That yeah, wasn't too bad. Alrighty, we have one left. Uh, so far, I am very, very happy with these. All right, last but not least. Don't they always say you save the best for last? I guess I should zoom back up. <laughs> Sorry about that. This one is so adorable. Are you ready for the cuteness? It's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> Another big, big key coat over here. 16 colors. This is only a partial. I mean, all you're drilling is this and then the bears. Well, the bear. I think that's a puppy. Not sure if that's supposed to be like a hedgehog. I think. And then our shooting star. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just thought it was adorable. So to have 16 colors for only these, you know, four little characters, that's quite a bit. Look at these beautiful pinks into pupper dog. Oh, so pretty. A lot of grays, I'm assuming, for the rest. Yeah, grays and a few tans, it looks like. Thunder took it. All right, let's take a look at this. The last one. I see some peach in here. I apologize for those of you who don't like this crinkling. I know many of you do like that ASMR moment. But... So another round. Look at that pretty red. Oh, beautiful deep pink. Oh, look at that. Look at these pinks. Oh, that doggy gonna be so pretty. Oh, and another one. It's gotta be a girl doggy then, right? There's that pretty peach. Whoops. Then come our earth tones. We have a tan, medium brown, darker brown. And here we have some blues. 
And here come all the grays. Lighter, a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker until we get to what I'm assuming is black. <laughs> so yeah, lots of different shades of grays in here. Oh, isn't that going to be cute? I'll just take a quick look at the symbols on here. Oh, and this is another one that's perfectly clear. Both of the white numbers and the black numbers and letters. So yeah, not a lot to drill on this one. This one would not take long whatsoever. And with it being a 30 by 30, this would be a real quick one to do to put in these scrap books. So maybe I'll put this one on the side too. And um, I've had a few requests to show how I do uh, mount mine and put them in the scrapbook. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll uh, do this one and then I can record that video and show you guys. I kind of had an, another video out there where I did show it, but because I have had a number of new requests um, for it, I am going to uh, record it again. And... Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and do that. It's you know, it's just you know, what else are you going to do with your little teeny little snack size diamond paintings, right? You can't frame them all. Nobody has that much room on their walls. Um, and to put them in a scrapbook and just be able to flip through them and, and look at all your diamond paintings is just so neat. I hope you're over, able to hear me over all that crinkling. Sorry about that. Okay, so that is the last one, and I absolutely love every single one of them. Lisa, you did a good job in picking those out. Pat on back, pat on back. All right, there you go. So we have our cute little cartoon characters here, our bear, puppy, hedgehog, and I didn't catch what that was up there. We have our flowers, our abstract, or our mandala, our colorful mandala. Kind of an abstract, colorful flower. And then the other one that I put on the side is this one. So yeah, I'm going to keep these two out. And then we can also see, um, again, I didn't look at the quality of the drills. But if I do this one shortly... Um, maybe after I have this uh, first uh, diamond painting completed for drills and chills, I'll get out this one and I'll do this one and we'll be able to see more what the quality is. It's, you know, it, by unbagging these, you can only see so much, right, until you actually do one of them. So I'll work this one up. We'll see how the drills, you know, actually are and, uh, yeah, how it actually turns out. And then I'll do that video on... Uh, putting them in the scrapbook so thank you so much for watching this video oh before i forget let me mention the special offers um there will be a five percent discount code down in the description it is new craft zero five so i will include that in the description and right now if your order is over fifty dollars you get two free ones so I will put that down in the description below. I don't believe you need a code or anything for that, but those are the two special offers that they uh, ha are having giving me um, to uh, give to you guys. So again, I will put that down in the description below, along with this company's website and links to all five of these particular diamond paintings. So go over and check them out. They are a very budget-friendly diamond painting company. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing these five diamond paintings. Again, these are from New Craft Day. Um, this is the first that I've received from this company. I don't know if the company itself is new, but uh, yeah, very nice. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.